Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2021 Toyota Venza, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that this is something that's gonna work for you. So one of the big questions that we get asked all the time uh, in regards to when you put a hitch on the back of your Toyota is, you know, is it gonna interfere with the hands-free liftgate assist? And with this one, the answer is no. You're still gonna be able to use it just like you should. The only difference is you're going to have to kick your foot to either side of the hitch. So it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but once you practice it a couple times, you'll find that sweet spot and have no problem opening and closing it. So when it comes to putting a hitch on a Venza, probably the first thing that comes to my mind is the appearance. How's it going to look? And to be honest with you, this is the first uh, new Venza we've had in the shop and everyone's been checking it out and everyone thinks it looks really good, you know, myself included. So if it were me, I would want a hitch that I want to take away from the looks of it. And honestly, I think it's this here is about as good as it's going to get, you know. Uh, it's going to be completely hidden for the most part. Really, the only thing you're going to be able to see is the receiver tube opening. And so it really does do a good job of, you know, putting off that factory type appearance. Something that we did notice too is the hitch is going to come out a little ways and it's still going to be able to maintain that clean look but still be very functional you know because people are probably going to use these toyotas to do a little bit of everything you know toyota makes a really versatile uh, vehicle and so you want a hitch that can handle all those different types of tasks and one popular one that a lot of people use is folding type accessories like a bike rack for example and because the hitch comes out a little bit and gives us that good clearance we're going to be able to use those folding type accessories in that stored upright position, not have to worry too much about them making contact with the back of our Venza. This is gonna be a class three hitch, so it's gonna have the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, uh, very common size, and a ton of different accessories will work with it. At the end there, there's going to be a reinforced collar for a little extra strength, and it's going to have the standard 5 eighths pin hole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip, it's not come included, but if you need one, not a big deal. You can grab it here at eTrailer. We are going to have loop style safety chain openings there, and they're going to give us more than enough space to use just about any size hook that we might have. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, uh, it's going to have some pretty high numbers actually. The maximum gross tongue weight rating is going to be 525 pounds, and that's going to be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. So. A relatively high number you should be able to use just about any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you'd want to for example as far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes that's going to be 3,500 pounds and that's going to be the amount of weight that is pulling on the hitch so it is the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it now i do always like to suggest never a bad idea just to grab your toyota's owner's manual that way you can make sure your suv can pull that much weight safely but with that said if you're pulling a trailer, you are going to want the lights to work. You know, that way you're safe and legal. And to accomplish that, uh, definitely check out some trailer wiring so you can get that job done. Now let's go ahead and just grab a couple of measurements. Uh, that way we can help figure out which hitch mount accessories are going to work out best. If you go from the ground to the top inside the edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be right at about 15 inches. So chances are pretty good. Uh, if you plan on doing some towing, you can use a ball mount that has a straight shank. If you go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's gonna be about four and a half inches. And you can use that measurement to figure out exactly if any of those folding accessories can be stored in that upright position without hitting the back of your Venza. At the end of the day, a hitch you really can't go wrong with. Honestly, this is probably my favorite one available. Um, compared to the other one, the draw tight, I think Kurt just does a little bit better of a job of um, you know, giving us a better appearance. And so that's why I kind of lean towards them a little bit more. Uh, but you know, it's really just gonna depend what you're going for. As far as the installation goes, believe it or not, it's actually pretty easy, only a few steps. There is um, one thing that I do wanna mention over here on the passenger side, and some of the bolts are kind of tricky to get to, you just don't have a ton of space, but don't worry about it. I'll show you the tool that I use to, uh, to get them tightened down. But with that said, why don't we go ahead, pull into the garage and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here underneath the back of our Toyota. And first thing we need to do is come to the 
passenger side frame rail. That way we can remove the tow hook. So we'll go ahead and if you look up here, we can see the tow hook. It's gonna be held in place with two 17 millimeter bolts. We'll go ahead, drop this down, you can set it to the side. So the tow hook won't be reinstalled, but you can take the original hardware that was holding it up and put that back into the frame rail and tighten them down. Now if we look on the side of our frame rail, we're gonna have two stickers covering up our attachment points and we need to remove those stickers. I'm just gonna use a scraper. You can use kind of whatever you have laying around, a screwdriver, uh, anything like that. We're gonna get those out of the way. That way we can get our hardware in place later. And we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side of our vehicle as well. So it's not a bad idea since these holes that we exposed are threaded, just to clean them out. I'm just gonna use a tube brush and you can spray some penetrating oil in there just to get any debris that may be inside out. And the hardware that we're gonna use to secure the hitch is a bolt and a conical tooth washer. Make sure that the teeth on the washer are gonna face this way towards the hitch. So while we're holding the hitch up, you're simply just going to thread that hardware into the factory weld nuts. And to give us a little bit more room to get our hitch up, we can take our heat shield here and I'm just gonna kind of bend it down. That'll give us a little extra clearance and should make it a little easier to sneak the hitch up into place. Now at the next set of hands, we can take our hitch and lift it into position. So you might have to kind of work your way around the exhaust. That's all right. We'll get it held up, take one of the bolts that we talked about and get one started uh, on each side, hand tight. That way the hitch will support itself. Once you have all of the hardware in place and hand tight, we'll come back with a socket and snug it all down. At this point, we can come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all of the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can grab one here at E-Trailer, or a lot of times, if you go to your local auto parts stores, they'll have one there available to rent. I do want to mention over here on the passenger side, you don't have nearly as much room you kind of just have this little pocket here. And so it can be kind of tricky to get a socket and, and uh, other larger type tools in there to tighten the bolts down. So what you can do is you can use a tool like this. This is called a crow's foot and it's really low profile and it will allow you to get inside of that opening and torque down that bolt. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on our 2021 Toyota Venza.